Let me just mention a few things about magnesium real quick. There's this uh, presupposition in our industry that, that just it permeates the industry. And that is you need to apply magnesium because magnesium is the center ion in the chlorophyll molecule and chlorophyll is what makes the plant green. That's a presupposition. That's a sales pitch. That's a marketing flyer. That's a bunch of nonsense. It's all true what that is, what they're saying about the magnesium, but whether or not you see a turf response to the application of the magnesium is what I care about. And magnesium will remain soluble. It will not oxidize out like iron and it will not oxidize out like manganese. Okay. It will remain for the most part in most normal soils. It will remain soluble in soils. Very rarely will you run into a soil that is low enough in magnesium to see a response to the application of magnesium. Okay, we've gone, I've gone over some, some papers on that. And even with Malik 1 magnesium levels down in like 15, 16 range, which would, in that particular soil in Florida, the magnesium as Malik 3 would be a little bit higher than that, probably closer to 20. Even in those soils, there was not a turf grass response to the application of magnesium unless the turf grass tissue was removed. So you, you can get extremely, extremely low with magnesium and still not see a response to the application of magnesium. So the take home message is once again, like every other practice, don't do something unless you have a good reason. And the magnesium values on Malik 3 soil tests have to get down low. Like I would, I don't know if it's the case in every soil, but we're talking like 20 parts per million or less. If you're up in the 30s or 40s, there's almost zero chance you're going to see a response to the application of magnesium. You might see a response to the application of magnesium sulfate. That could happen because sulfate is generally, or it is becoming more and more common to see a deficiency in sulfate. But it probably is not coming from the magnesium. It's probably coming from the sulfate. So you get the least expensive form of sulfate, which is usually calcium sulfate or potassium sulfate, something like that. Okay, that's the least expensive form. So magnesium is really not one that you want to consistently put out thinking that it's going to turn the grass green because it's the center ion and the chlorophyll molecule. That's my, that's my take on magnesium.